I am in one of the most amazing views you will ever, ever see up in the mountains of Utah. I was gonna stay in the RV today and just do a bunch of little tinkering around. I've got a whole bunch of small projects to take care of, but I was so stir crazy. I get so stir crazy sitting inside and it just sucks all my energy. I mean, it really does. I just get kind of depressed and anxious. And so I decided to go on another drive and I have driven up to one of the ski resorts in uh, Utah. And you've just got to look at this view here. Just. Look at the view. This is just unbelievable. Fortunately, I have new front tires and so I was able to come up here easily. <laughs> so I'm taking my car in to get new front tires. The new, the, my old tires are four or five years old and their tread is getting quite low. Oh, so I figured I might as well do it now. Okay, so because of everything going on, we have to sit here and wait for them to come out to us. Oh, we'll be right with you. Okay, thanks. Yeah, the age we live in right now. Well, while I'm sitting here waiting for my tires to get replaced, I might as well clean. I'm just gonna kind of chill for a bit and clean. You know, cars are so painful to keep clean and it, so when I got the car, I specifically wanted a manual transmission because you do get a little bit better gas mileage. And I also like the experience of driving a stick shift. I'm old school that way. But the great thing about it is this little Honda Fit when I'm doing these little day road trips, this thing gets almost 40 miles to the gallon, which is amazing. Look at that, almost 40 miles to the gallon. I didn't have a rag, so I just pulled out one of the shirts that I'm gonna wash. Yay, it looks like the tire distributor just showed up, so my tires should be in there. Yay. Yay, new tires on. Thank you. Okay, here we go. This is supposed to be a pretty spectacular drive. Wasatch Forest, Wasatch National Forest. It's still really dry this time of year. So the last place that I visited was Heber Valley and this will actually dump us right into Heber Valley. Look at the rock formations up there. Just Utah has some of the most varied and amazing geology in the United States. A lot of people are out hiking, doing day stuff, which is healthy, I think. I know some people would criticize them right now, but the evidence shows being outside is not dangerous. Oh, look at the rock formations here. Wow. Just amazing.
That's probably an original power plant. Oh, 1895, it said. There's a really pretty creek off to my left, off to my right. I might stop at some point. Go look at it. Look at this, coming out of the mountains here. Isn't this amazing? Look at all the cars out here. Check the view out. This is one of the hiking regions, I guess. It's amazing hikes out here. There's a trail here I want to investigate. Well, I've decided to get out and take a little walk here. This is supposed to be a very popular trail. And unfortunately, <laughs> there's a little pond over here I want to take some photographs of, but there's a whole lot of snow here still. It's also kind of overcast. Looks like a beaver dam. little critter right there. Hi little critter. How you doing? How you doing there little critter? Oh wow this is just so pretty. Look at the mountains off there in the distance. Snow capped. Wow. So I've decided to do another trip I was trying to work in the RV and do some projects, but I just get so stir crazy. My normal outlets, going to the gym, going to the coffee shop, are closed, so this is all I can do to get outside. Look at this. Wow, just look at this. Way up in the mountains. My friend said a lot of people would be up here. That's true. And then right over here, look at somebody's home is right over there. It's crazy that people would have homes up here. You could very easily get stuck in a snowstorm here and be held up for quite a while. Well, I was gonna hike up to the falls, but you know, I'm actually really hungry. I didn't realize I'd be really hungry right now. And I had coffee a little bit late in the day and I didn't have sugar in it. And so it's made me a little bit hypoglycemic. I can tell I need to go eat something. I don't want to hike up three quarters of a mile. Start feeling like crap. Look how pretty this is. Now I'm on my way back down, so the sun is coming out, so I'm gonna photograph a little bit. Well, that was fun. You can see it over there that I'm just coming from. That I was gonna hike out there, but honestly, I didn't bring food with me. I'm really hungry. I'm gonna head on down to Heber. I've never actually come up this far, so this is gonna be interesting. But luckily the sun has come out.
Yeah, so one of the challenges for me with all of this is I'm used to going to the gym and going to coffee shops and those are all closed right now. And I just get completely stir crazy inside of the RV trying to work. I have been so unproductive <laughs> during this time period. It's just, it's just crazy. It just sucks all my energy. So coming out and being able to take these day trips has just been really, really good for me. The lighting is just spectacular here. I mean, just look at this. Look at that scenery there. That is just crazy. This is only about, I don't know, 40 minute drive, maybe an hour's drive from where I'm parked in my RV right now. So, oh, I just hope this lockdown ends soon. Fortunately, Utah is not heavily affected like other states. Um, but boy, I'm, I'm ready for it to end.